dust under the rug. Once upon a time, in a village, lived a mother with her two daughters. Since the death of her husband, she had become very poor. She worked hard to provide for her daughters. The girls were very hardworking and helpful and kept the house neat and clean. One of the girls was lame, so she sat still in her chair and sewed. Her elder sister, Minnie, washed the dishes, swept the floor, and kept the house in order. After finishing their chores, the girls would sit at the window while waiting for their mother to return. One day, their mother came home sick. She had high fever and felt very weak. The girls were very sad to see her in this condition. It was a cold winter evening, and they had to buy many things for the winter. But now that their mother was not in a condition to go out, all their plans came to a standstill. Minnie and her sister were very worried. At last, Minnie said, Dear sister, I must go out and find work before our stock of food runs out. She kissed her sleeping mother, wrapped herself up in a shawl, gave a hug to her sister and started from home. Minnie had to cross a dense forest, but she was determined to go ahead. She kept walking, hoping to reach some place where she could find work. Soon it became dark and Minnie was tired and hungry too. She felt scared as she was all alone. Then she spotted a small house. She hurried towards it and knocked at the door, but nobody answered. She called out again and again, but still nobody opened the door. So she assumed that no one lived there. She opened the door and walked in decided that she would spend the night there. As soon as she stepped inside, she was surprised to see three beds with the bedclothes all tumbled, three unclean plates on a dusty table, and a very dirty and unkept room. Dear me, she said, what a dirty place this is. She warmed her hands at the fireplace, and then set to work to make the room tidy. She washed the plates, made the beds, swept the floor, straightened the great rug in front of the fireplace, and dusted the furniture. Just as she had finished, the door opened and walked in three carpenters. They were surprised, but delighted to see their house neat and clean. Then, they noticed Minnie standing in a corner. They asked her who she was. Minnie told them everything about herself. The older carpenter said that they would be working in that village only for a month. He asked Minnie to stay with them and look after their house. And in turn, they would pay her a good amount. Minnie decided to stay there as she liked the behavior of the carpenters. Every day Minnie worked hard. She served the carpenters delicious breakfast. After they left, she cleaned the house, cooked dinner for them, mended their clothes, washed the utensils and so on. In the evening, when the carpenters returned, they found their home neat and clean with a warm fire and delicious supper waiting for them. After a week of her stay, Minnie asked the carpenters to give her some money to send to her mother and sister. The carpenters offered to get the money sent to her home. Minnie continued to work faithfully. At the end of every week, the carpenters sent an amount to her mother. Then came the last day of the month. When the carpenters had left, Minnie sat down for a while in front of the fire and fell asleep. She got up when the clock struck twelve. She was late for all the work. She completed all the tasks in a hurry 
and to save time, she did not sweep under the rug that day, nor did she dust the furniture. The carpenters returned, and they did not notice the difference, as the rooms looked the same to them. They ate the dinner and went to bed, but Minnie could not sleep that night. She was a sincere and hard-working girl, and the way she had done her tasks that day was troubling her. She thought that she had cheated the carpenters by not cleaning properly that day. The food had also not tasted good, but no one had said anything to her. Minnie could not take it any more. She got up and began dusting the house at midnight. She picked up the broom and swept the whole house, even the dust below the rug. The carpenters came out on hearing the sounds and were surprised to see Minnie working at such an hour of the night. When they asked her the reason, Minnie burst into tears and told them the whole matter. The carpenters were very pleased with her sincerity and hard work. The next day when Minnie was about to leave, the carpenters gave her a good amount of money and also loaded her with many gifts and food items. Minnie could not thank them enough. They asked Minnie to return and stay with them for her whole life. They also promised to visit her family soon. She felt eager to return after visiting her family. Minnie hugged each of them and started for her home. She was very happy and satisfied. Her diligence had paid.